Welcome to Cracked Info, your number one hub on economics, geopolitics, and tech happenings around the globe. Quickly do us the favor of hitting that like and share button, and do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you are just tuning in for the first time. As preparations mount higher towards the upcoming 15th edition of the BRICS Summit, counting less than two weeks from today, with Putin to be physically absent in South Africa, the host country only to be part in an online video streaming, and the expansion of Viking countries desiring to be part of the BRICS blog as well as over 67 countries having received invitations. The world seems to be drifting into knowing what the BRICS summit has in stock this August meeting in Johannesburg, South Africa. Recall that BRICS has been on the explosion as it has been discreet towards measures as to who it wants to be part of the summit. Invitations to the summit has placed Western countries including France and Belarus that showed interest of joining the summit prohibited from attending. But what are some of the key facts and expectations of the summit? And is the West especially worried about the BRICS summit coming August 22nd to 24th, 2023? Where and when is the summit taking place? South Africa will host the summit from August 22nd to 24th at the city's Santon Convention Center, after the country took up the one-year rotating chairmanship of the BRICS group in January. This center is located in the country's largest city, Johannesburg, South Africa. It will be the first in-person BRICS summit since the COVID-19 pandemic. The BRICS group of major emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, will hold its 15th Heads of State and Government Summit in Johannesburg this month. Here are some key facts about the summit. Who will attend? In attendance will be the South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, President Xi Jinping of China, Brazil's President Luiz Lula da Silva, and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi are expected to attend the summit. Russian President Vladimir Putin will not attend in person due to a warrant for his arrest issued by the International Criminal Court for alleged war crimes in Ukraine, something Moscow denies. Putin, who will be a virtual participant, will be represented in Johannesburg by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Invitations to attend the summit were also extended to 67 leaders across Africa, Latin America, Asia, and the Caribbean, South African Foreign Minister Nalidi Pander said. 20 dignitaries, including the Secretary General of the United Nations, the Chairperson of the African Union Commission, and the President of the New Development Bank, have also been invited. Business leaders are also expected to be in attendance. This could seem as the biggest meet under BRICS since its creation if all these dignities and personalities respect this invitation. The issue on ground remains if these invitations and BRICS aspirations gain more groups around the globe buying to their agenda. Could it be a bedrock to more of the BRICS alliance agenda in bringing the world from a unipopular to a multipolar system of governance and rebalancing of power pose some worries to the West and the U.S. dollar hegemony? But what is the key issue to be discussed? Perhaps the most important and controversial issue the leaders are expected to discuss is BRICS expansion by adding new members, including the admission criteria and guiding principles. But divisions among BRICS members over criteria for admitting new members may preclude any major announcements at the summit, as the bloc operates by consensus. China, seeking to boost its geopolitical might at a time of tensions with the United States, is the main driver of expansion. Russia is also embracing it as a way of overcoming isolation over the Ukraine war, and India is also coming around to the idea. Brazil is the most skeptical of enlargement. South Africa, the smallest in the bloc in terms of economic clout and population, was the first country to benefit from its expansion ambitions when it officially attended the original BRIC Members Summit of 2011. However, the BRICS's diverse economic and political systems, as well as mounting geopolitical tensions with Russia and China, have threatened the group's progress, as the debate grows around whether Putin will even attend the upcoming conference in South Africa. It has left many wondering whether the project is running out of steam or just getting started. What does the BRICS aim to achieve? One aim of the BRICS is to use cooperation to reshape the global political and economic architecture to benefit them. The BRICS Parliamentarian Forum and Outreach Dialogue serve as avenues for consultations and engagement with regional neighbors and other interested countries. For example, South Africa utilizes the BRICS platform to pursue its foreign policy priorities such as the African Agenda and South-South Cooperation. Economic relationships between members have been formalized by the creation of the BRICS Business Council, the Contingent Reserve Agreement, and the New Development Bank, NDB. The NDB, 
headquartered in Shanghai, plays a significant role in mobilizing resources for infrastructure and sustainable development projects within BRICS nations. The CRA provides short-term liquidity support to member countries, enhancing financial stability and mitigating balance of payment crises. As no movement or agenda grows without hurdles, here are some challenges facing the BRICS bloc as they head towards this August summit in South Africa. Internal political and economic instability, disagreement over UN Security Council reform, and territorial disputes between India and China pose hurdles to the BRICS's continued cooperation and growth. Further, exogenous factors like the decline in foreign investment and the economic slowdown in China have stunted their development. There are many who feel some of these challenges represent a terminal diagnosis for the group's prosperity. Members are hoping this year's meeting will prove the doubters wrong. The BRICS Summit 2023 agenda is expected to cover trade and investment facilitation, sustainable development, innovation, and global governance reform. However, one of the key points in this 15th BRICS Summit will be a discussion of the BRICS's controversial proposition of a new, gold-backed currency. This policy reflects the BRICS's desire to reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar, although many question the motivations behind it. Some suggest that the move is designed to cement the BRICS's place at the head of the global economy, while others think that it is designed as a reactive measure to economic problems within the group. Either way, it is likely that a perceived weakness of the U.S. both economically and diplomatically has BRICS members contributed to the timing of the announcement. Here is where we wrap things up for today. Thanks for stopping by and see you in our next video. Goodbye for the time being.